War progresses and the deadly attacks continue. Tonight, we're hearing from a local Holocaust survivor who told Fox 5's Mike Davis that she never thought she'd see this level of violence in Israel in 2023. And I say, God, why do you do this to the Jews? Why we deserve this? Why? You took my mother, you took my father, took my siblings, and now you... You're doing this. I have nieces and nephews in Israel. And you're doing this to Israel. 95-year-old Lucy Jacobs survived the Holocaust at Auschwitz concentration camp and lived in Israel for 10 years, saying the violence happening there now in 2023 is hard to believe. As the war progresses, she says her family in Israel is safe, but it hurts her to see the Israeli people in pain. I never believe that I lived that long to see what's happened in Israel. We got a country finally and now they're taking it away from us and they're punishing us there. Why? We suffered enough. So far, the war has claimed more than 3,000 lives on both sides. As of Friday, the Israeli military said more than 1,300 people, including 222 soldiers, have been killed in Israel. No more punishing us. Please, God, we were punished enough. Enough is enough. While the Gaza Health Ministry said that around 1,800 people have been killed in the territory. And I feel like, uh, like a privileged Palestinian that doesn't have to live in occupied Palestine or in Palestine. I should be doing my duty as a Palestinian to spread awareness of what's happening, all the injustice that's occurring. Two groups in Las Vegas standing separately Thursday in solidarity with Israeli and Palestinian people and calling for peace in the region. It's incredibly painful, um, but it's something that like the Jewish community and Jewish people can overcome. Uh, Jews and Arabs have lived peacefully in the land of Palestine for thousands of years and we can do it again.